Hi, this Model Logic's how to video is about setting up custom metrics. Custom metrics are something that are set up by an administrator in Model Logics. Metrics are typically numbers such as materials, labor costs, or labor hours per unit, for example. Model Logics lets you define metrics used for modeling. You can define up to 25 metrics. The existing metrics can be customized with the exception of three. You can't touch the quantity, total, and total unit cost. Let's take a look and see how to set up a metric. First, it's under the setup, and then under metrics. And you can see some of the pre-built metrics in here. Down below, we can add a metric. Let's add one, for example, labor hours per unit. So I'll type that in. I then get to select the metric type, whether it's a value metric or a calculated metric. A value metric is a spot we use to store metrics imported from project data. A calculated metric is something that we use to calculate this metric or metrics from other data using a user-defined expression. So in this case, we want to use a calculated metric and we click OK. We can set the format, so it's going to be labor hours per unit, so this is going to be a number. Um, let's set it for one digit. The expression will be labor hours, and it will be divided by total unit cost. And then finally, you can set the anchor value. We'll set the anchor value here to anchor the labor hours. And what that means is that if I change the metric on the spreadsheet, it's going to divide by a constant labor hours and then change the total unit cost. So you have a choice here. Um, another example would be as if you have labor divided by quantity, giving you the labor unit cost. You set the anchor value to quantity, then in the spreadsheet, if you change the labor unit cost, the quantity metric is anchored and doesn't change. Instead, it changes the labor metric value so that uh, labor divided by quantity equals your new value. Let's take a look and see how this works. So we've got the metric set up. Let's go back to our model and then to the spreadsheet. And you can see we've got quantity, total, total unit cost already displayed. And we can add that new metric, labor hours per unit, by dragging and dropping it over here. And then you can see in here, I've got the labor hours per unit. If I change that, it turns yellow and it will anchor as we had determined. To undo that, you can click this little uh, yellow arrow and reset the cell back to its original value. So you can see that by doing that, I changed the total unit cost and not the labor hours. All right, let's take a look and see how this works. So I've added in the labor hours column. I've added in the labor hours per unit column, which is my new metric, by dragging and dropping them from over here. If, for example, I want to change the concrete so that labor hours per unit was, is 60 instead of 55, I can type that in and watch the labor hours and the total unit cost. In this case, the labor hours remained because that was my anchor value and the total unit cost changed. I can undo that change by clicking that little yellow arrow and resetting this cell back to its original value. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up custom metrics and my logics.